We're going to be talking about gas valves and burners. On the gas valves, we want to check gas pressure with the furnace off coming to the valve and then once again after it's running making sure that we don't have a regulator problem outside of the home and that we have proper gas pressure. We need to have a minimum of six inches of water column coming to the valve, no more than 14 inches uh, coming uh, to that valve, otherwise we'll damage that diaphragm. Once we set up to take gas pressure readings, we also want to make sure that we have the right voltage at the right time. Most ignition systems have a 17 to 21 second igniter warm up time, then we're going to have a four second trial for ignition. During that four seconds, I should have 24 volts coming to the valve, so we're going to be checking for that. The number one failure of gas valves is not electrical, it's water. So water from the indoor coil for air conditioning, maybe it's not draining right, it's getting water in the cabinet, it finds wires and just runs right down into it and destroys the valve. The other source could be the 90 percenters with the water coming from the vent pipe or the condensation system. Somehow that water is getting to the wires, running into the valve, and that's what we need to be checking for. Obviously, loose connections can be an issue. Having proper gas pressure, checking temperature rise is going to be important checks anytime we're doing maintenance on a furnace. On the burners assemblies, we want to make sure that they're clean feel up behind there. If they're all rusty, maybe I've got some primary air that's moist. You know, I've got exhaust air, I got primary air coming in. There's two pipes side by side with that moist air coming around and sucking into the intake of the combustion air. Well, you'll start to see that rusting happening there on the burner's assembly. We want to clean those with a wire brush. When checking out the burner assembly, sometimes we're not lighting all the way across. So we want to light our gas on one side we want to prove that we've lit the gas on the other if you have a problem with the burners maybe take burner at the end move it to the first place shift them all down one did the problem move or did the problem stay in the same place figure out what's happening with that burner assembly why am i not lighting all the way across